It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Rod Wright, member of the California State Senate. And I want to speak with you about regulation in our mm -hmm. state. For many years, members of the Republican Party have been complaining about overregulation. But we now have Democrats complaining. The governor, when signing CEQA reform recently, said there are too many damn regulations. Mm -hmm. So are we at a point where the parties are coming together on regulatory reform? I think people are beginning to get it. In, in some of the regulatory agencies, you have a kind of shadow government mm. where people can pass things that cost money. They I've can increase that. fees and taxes. They can make major changes to people's lives. They're not elected, and no one sees them. So suddenly from on high, you get a thing. It says you have to comply with this, whatever this is, and no one voted for it. No one remembers when it happened. So how do we balance the desire to avoid overregulation with the beauty that has become California, the beautiful coast, the beautiful mountains. I mean, you know, there's a tension there. The, the perception is that if you hadn't had some of the things, those things would not have happened on their own. Mm -hmm. That's not true, right? Because really? it's not like when we did the regulation, all that stuff was all developed. It wasn't, right? So what we did is we slowed development. But, you know, in many instances, cities weren't going to permit wild stuff to happen anyway. So you did have some regulatory uh, uh, positions in place. The challenge becomes is when the, regula when the regulators just become overzealous. And overzealousness is a problem whether you're in the legislature, the city council, or a regulator. So what can be done? Because truly, now you have bipartisan agreement that we need to get our regulatory environment under control. People, be, I mean, I have a bill, for example, uh, SB 1099. Mm -hmm. what, what it says is... 1099. <laughs> it's funny, it's 1099, <laughs> tax form. What it says is that we'll do regu regulations twice a year. I mean, when the, we need the, the agencies, the, all the agencies will do mm. regulations in January and in July, because one of the challenges becomes regulatory agencies can put out regulations every week. So if you're a small business and the regulatory agency can come out, they can put out contradictory regulations. So you can get a regulation in January that's contradicted in March. And unless you have a regulatory staff that's Who watching that? this all the time, no one does. So virtually most of the small businesses are in violation of some regulation all the time because the regulations change. We've had people start building schools and then have to stop and tear out whole portions because the regulation that they started under changed. So how's, what's the status of that bill? We're look, we, we're, we've passed the first committee. Now it happened to have been my own committee, government that organization. <laughs> but now we're going to move into EQ and people EQ are beginning, is. I'm sorry, environmental quality. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to do jargon. That's okay, don't worry. But as we are moving forward, people are beginning to say, you know what, this is reasonable. It doesn't say you can't have a regulation, but it says that you ought to do it at a scheduled time and that the regulations so ought to be posted. So what are your fellow Democrats saying about this bill? Are they they're, voting they're, for it? They're getting there. You know, some of the unions at first said, oh, we don't like it. But on, in time, people are beginning to realize that you can't just let the agencies go forward. What are your colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle saying? Well, they kind of sort of, we like it and, and we get it and we'll take what so like we like when you get. got out of committee, was mm -hmm. it unanimous or did you have some challenges? Uh, we, we had challenges. It was not unanimous, but um, we had bipartisan support getting out of the committee. It wasn't just you plus Republicans. No. Well, that, that, unfortunately, that wouldn't get it out. Oh, right. So we need, we need more than that. There and, you have it. And that becomes a challenge is that, you know, we've got to move from a government where the extremes dominate the playing field. So if you have all the Republicans right. who say, I'm not going to do any taxes, and you have all the Democrats who say, I'm going to get a 100% scorecard on right. the, this group that Sierra I played, Sierra Club. Club. Yeah. So now you've got the, the extremes dominating the field. Mm -hmm. Most of us are here. In our final moments, what does the governor think about your bill? Do you know? I have not talked to him, but I, I take the same thing that you did. When the governor commented that we have too many damn regulations, that's, that's your he, signal. Was, he was setting the platform to say, bring me something because, have because he gets it. He's Rod Wright, member of the California State Senate. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. Back to HLN.